pleasure to introduce you to the gentleman. I retired from the Marine Corps as a four-star uh, after 38 years. I was 10 years as a general of that time. Uh, I served uh, in Bosnia and in Iraq and then Afghanistan. Uh, after I retired, uh, John Kerry asked me to help him with the Middle East peace process. So I spent 15 months, uh, 13 of them in the region, working closely with the Israelis and the Palestinians <clears throat> and the Jordanians in the security dialogue, which would set the, the foundational uh, progress ultimately for the what we call the resolution of the of the six uh, enduring issues associated with Middle East. My own environment and the, the environment I had on cybersecurity with respect to the Russians, for example, forces us and drives us, I think, to new ways of thinking about cybersecurity. And I think the artificial intelligence in the context of cybersecurity is the only way we can go. Uh, having, uh, in essence, the, the vigilant sentinel, sentinel on the outside of the system constantly watching for the polymorphic changes, which I think put the, the, the network at risk, or the uh, zero-day threats that put the network at risk. If the system, if the cyber security system is an updated system, given the speed with which polymorphic threats are evolving on any given day, and you know this far, far better than I, we're at risk if we're not constantly protected 24 hours a day. And I think, again, in the environment of the network, protecting and defending the network can be best done, I think, through the artificial intelligence platform that exists outside the network and attempts to uh, interrogate at the DNA level the, uh, the code of the polymorphic threats and ultimately the zero. I, I don't think we can put enough emphasis on it.